I decided to do another reality show all about Aubrey on Oxygen premiering tonight at 10 p.m., 9 p.m. Central and every Monday uh, because I wanted to document this phase, the second phase of my career. I spent the first phase on TV with making the band for five years. All the ups and downs of that first part of my life were documented and I felt like coming into it another time, you don't always see the second part of someone's career trying to establish themselves after having a successful venture. And also, I'm very vulnerable and open about my highs and my lows. And I think that my voice can be something that people can look to to get through the bad times because I'm definitely a poster child for getting fired in 2008 on national television. On the show, you're going to see me coming back into the music industry on my own this time around with my own voice. So you'll see me writing all my music, producing music. You're going to see me going through all my choreography rehearsals with Gil, Janet Jackson's choreographer. You see me in the studio with uh, three-time Grammy Award winner Adonis. You also see me with my manager, Johnny Wright. All three of those men were also involved in Danity Kane's career career and we're on making the band you're going to see the on the career end you're going to see making the music doing the stage performances and it's all going to lead up to a huge showcase for all the record labels and as far as the personal side of it you're going to see me with my two best friends from childhood Stephanie and Tiffany Stephanie's here jump in come say hi real quick jump in, get over here get over here and say hi it's live tv right here wrapup.com exclusive this sexy hot woman She's gorgeous. Hi. This is Stephanie. She's my arch nemesis. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's my BFF since, God, how long have you known me? Too long. <laughs> 13 years ago. So. God, her life didn't get good until I came in it. Um, but anyway, so she, she's my best friend since forever. My friends are real on my show. A lot of times nowadays, reality shows are scripted. They feel extra phony. Um, though enjoyable at times, still doesn't leave you feeling like you got a real piece of someone's life. You're going to see me reach out to Diddy for the first time since I was fired by him. And you're going to see um, I don't know, the way that Aubrey talks to Diddy behind the scenes. As far as putting together a reunion for Danity Kane, I have always stayed consistent with wanting to bring that back at some point in the future. I love the moments, um, the good moments that we had as a group. And I've done my part in reaching out to every member of the group and have really been able to build successful relationships beyond that situation since then with most of the girls. Um, um, most of us all stay in touch and talk all the time. And I will say that once everyone's able to come around and kind of get to the places that some of us have gotten, I think that there'll be more of an opportunity for us to be on the same page again as a group and to really uh, get back in the studio. And hopefully, I mean, I would love to bring it all back and get all the girls back together and, you know, have another little Danity Kane moment in life because I think that was an amazing moment that all of us would love to experience again at some point. Everyone always asks me, um, at what point was I able to move on and get past being fired? And my answer is always the same, which is any day now. <laughs> um, it was a very dramatic thing that happened. And bigger than being fired, because I don't really mind that. I was a poster child for everyone getting fired in 2008. Um, I will say that what was most hurtful to me is being separated from girls that became my family and being separated from the family that I had with um, the external environment around us as well. That was the hardest part. And then um, next to that, the hardest part also was the media's interpretation of what had happened and kind of getting pinned for the demise of a million dollar, <laughs> a million dollar situation that obviously one person could never destroy. Um, but I'd say those two things were very hard for me to deal with, let alone all the internal um, pain that I had from letting go of that. So it's been a difficult journey, one that I'm not completely healed from, but I'm getting better each day. My biggest things that I had to learn was forgiving the other girls and beyond that, forgiving myself. Okay. This is Aubrey O'Day from All About Aubrey on Oxygen, and you're watching Wrap Up TV.